Welcome to Sweet Spot. Today I'm sharing with you a favorite childhood treat. If you like almonds and almond paste, you'll love today's recipe, almond horns. They're a crescent-shaped pastry, rolled in sliced almonds. I'm giddy about these. They smell and taste like a bit of heaven. Let's get started. <laughs> Almond horns are a pretty simple recipe with only a few ingredients. The magic is the almond paste. You can find it in any grocery store, either in a box or sometimes a small can. It's in the nuts in the baking aisle typically. We've got a quarter cup of sugar, because almond paste is pretty sweet on its own, an egg, really just the white, and almond flour, three and a half tablespoons. If you can't find it, you can make your own from almonds in a food processor. Pretty simple. And finally, sliced almonds, not slivered. Make sure they're sliced. Crack the egg. Separate the yolk to save for another recipe. Or discard it. We'll need to do this again for the egg wash. Take out the almond paste. It needs to be fresh, and if it's fresh, it'll be soft and pliable, like Play-Doh, but it smells so good. Slice it or coarsely chop it. I found a stand mixer is definitely best to make almond horns. A hand mixer would be tough, but a food processor could work if you'd prefer. On slow speed, let the mixer break down the almond paste and sugar. The sugar helps cut the paste into smaller pieces. Turn up the speed as the paste begins to break apart. Keep an eye on your mixer throughout the mixing particularly on higher speeds to make sure it doesn't walk off your counter. When the sugar is mixed in, add in the egg white and almond flour. Let it thoroughly mix. This may take a little while. Scrape the bowl. You can work out of the bowl, but since this dough is so manageable, I find it easier to work from the counter. Let's clean things up to have workspace. <laughs> Decide on the size you'd like to make. For traditional bakery size horns, you'll want something a little larger than a golf ball. I'll make two larger ones, and then some smaller bar or bite size. They don't even need to be horn shaped. Almond bites. I kind of like that. Shape into a ball and begin rolling it into the almond slices. As you roll, elongate the ball, pressing the nuts into it. Keep rolling. You want the nuts really to stick in here. And finally, bend it into a crescent or horn shape. Voila! An almond horn. And repeat the process. Really press the nuts in. No one will complain that they had too many nuts. Continue this process. Make any size or shape you want. Have a little fun. Another egg white. 
add a tablespoon of water and whisk to make an egg white wash. Gently brush the pastries, being careful not to knock off the nuts. Into a 375 oven for about 15 to 17 minutes. Remove when they're just beginning to brown and the nuts are toasted. My favorite part, the taste test. We ended up with some gorgeous almond horns and little almond bars. More manageable for a snack size or a breakfast dessert, if you will. A lot of times you'll see in bakeries a very large almond horn, uh, too much for a person, or it's very filling. Sometimes they have a chocolate glaze on them, which I also don't care for. It, 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 I like chocolate, but it distorts the, uh, the almond flavor. So these are lightly browned. And my mouth literally is watering for these. I haven't had these for quite some time. Heavenly. It's crunchy on the outside. The crunch, when you bite into the nuts, they crack. The crust of the pastry is, is firm, not, not crispy crispy, but drier. But the inside, it's moist. It's full of almond paste. If you like almonds, oh my, these are, these are really good. Press the subscribe button. Full recipe are in the YouTube notes below. We'd love a thumbs up from you. Tell your friends. Till next time, this is Sweet Spot. Da 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 da